Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope everyone is doing well. Today we are running Lifeline, R99, and a Peacekeeper. Getting in their face, the full send Lifeline, getting aggressive, and uh, I ended up having a good game. But I kind of wanted to touch on that just a little bit uh, at the beginning of this video because I know a million other YouTubers have already talked about this, but I want to give you guys my perspective, okay? And that's about skill-based matchmaking. Skill-based matchmaking has basically made it impossible for me to want to use goofy loadouts and like weird variations of things weird attachments or something like that uh it's basically made it next to impossible for me to do that at this point because i mean if i'm running into good teams all the time uh putting myself at a disadvantage by using an alternator for example and they're all using r99s i mean i'm just gonna lose <laughs> you know it's it's next to impossible at this point for me to use weird goofy loadouts and that's kind of where this gameplay came from i kind of got fed up with uh trying to use off meta loadouts and running into really good players non-stop so i i found an r99 and a peacekeeper and i was like you know what i'm just gonna go i, I just, i'm just gonna go i have to i have to use it and uh we ended up winning the game with it so that's kind of i kind of wanted to just share that with you guys because like i said it, I've, I've uploaded almost 100 apex probably over 100 apex videos at this point and i've always been like a big advocator for switching it up and using different loadouts and stuff like that but unfortunately the meta that we're in right now and with skill based matchmaking being introduced so heavily into the game it's next to impossible for me to do consistently it, it, it just genuinely is but that's all i've really got to say today's gameplay is a great game it was it really was it was an awesome game and uh i'm just gonna let that one play out so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy and i'll see you guys on the next video all right ben what do you got for me have to get some armor okay not bad not bad We're gonna leave this scout. We're gonna leave it. That though is coming with me. Absolutely, we are rocking a 99, 100%. All right, teammate, I'm coming. We scoop these 100%. I can hear him throwing gas traps inside. All right, now where's the one that hurt you? Was it that caustic? I think it was, and now he's out of here. This scans. Take the healing drone, and I'm gonna keep Mosey in on. I don't think he noticed the healing drone. Maybe I should have put it right beside him. Poor guy. He didn't even get a chance to react. Are you coming up the stairs? The answer was yes, he was coming up the stairs. Okay, alright. I am going to be taking your Peacekeeper 100%. We are running R99 and a Peacekeeper, and I'm not going to feel even a little bit bad about it. Not at all. I don't think anybody else is here. Nice, blue mag. All right, we are kitted. Oh, I haven't played Lifeline in so long. It's so nice having the healing drone. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I remember playing with Kobe when the game first came out. He was always on Lifeline. Always, 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 always. Even Chicken. Chicken was always on Lifeline. So we almost always had a Lifeline on our team. And the healing drone was so nice. But nobody really plays her anymore. Like at all. Basically any of the, the lifeline mains that I ever knew, they kinda just Close range. I could use that. I could use that. To those who need it, there is an oh I think he took it. Oh, we dropped it! Oh that's nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, all the all the life lifeline mains that I knew when the game first came out, they just like stopped playing lifeline. She's still really good, like with her heals and like her fast heals. But it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie, the whole skill based matchmaking, it's like, it's changed me a little bit. It's changed me. Look at me, I've become one of them. R99 and a peacekeeper, I have become what I've sworn against. 
But this is the world that we live in now, I guess. This is what we gotta do to, to compete with the best of the best, apparently. One thing that I wish that they did, I wish that they they did like weapon changes more frequently, you know what I mean? Like why not why not uplay like update the weapons every week? Like make the flatline OP for a week. Like why not? Switch it up. I feel like everybody There's a guy with a longboy here. Oh! Oh my god, I almost got him. We'll get back to the weapon thing in a second. I think there's quite a few people here. Here's someone right above me. Oh, that was way too close. We gotta heal right to these Nice, good ults, good ults. That was way too close for comfort. Nice bass, that's huge. Oh, good scan, Sheriff. Okay, good scans. Oh, absolutely not. I'll be taking your purple armor. Thank you, my friend. We finish off the whole squad. Impressive kill. Haven't seen a lot of competitors like you. Okay, we're good. We're good. Anyways, as I was saying before, we were rudely interrupted. How sweet would it be if they did like weapon changes? every single week like once a week and they just made something differently op like one week the flatline is op the next is the hemlock then back to the 99 i feel like every gun is a 99 like every body has a 99 on it oh there's more yikes the circle is closing us in too and we're right in the open this is bad we gotta try to get to the middle. Come, boys. Let's explore this oh! Way. Oh my god. Get him out of here. These fast heals are actually crazy. If he would have pushed out with that Devo, I don't know if I would have lived. If he pushed out earlier. Where's the third? Okay, no third. He's got self res. Alright, nice. Alright, I'm sorry, teammate, but we are going to be looting your body for some shield batteries. Nice, you have two of them. Perfect. Oh, anyways, before we are rudely interrupted a second time, how sweet would it be if they if they updated the weapons every single week and just made something different, right? Different, like, change up the meta, like, all the time, right? Like, right now, it's just everybody is 99 or a Peacekeeper. Every single one. Or a Scout. Oh, man. When you run into the teams with, with Scouts, that's a yikes. That's a yikes. At least we'll be able to get our teammate over here. That's nice. I got my alt too, so I can leave him a care package right when he gets out. Maybe it'll bless him with some purple armor. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, my friend, you're back in the action. Cross my fingers, you get some purple armor from that. And I am going to the fight. We gotta get up in there. That's the one flaw about running a 99 and a Peacekeeper. Is, uh... If you run into the team's rock and scouts, which... Scouts is, like, big meta right now. You're probably just gonna get fried. 
But I'm confident with the fast heals and, and all the close range stuff that if I just play in their face, I should be okay. Maybe we can get some sweet third party action over here. Okay. One knock, one thirst. Assuming it was two full teams, now it's two duos. Get over here, Pat. Yikes, dude. I don't know how many more people are here. Nice try, Bloodhound. Absolutely not, though. Okay. Uh, that Pathfinder, I can't believe I missed like three PK shots on him. I hit like eight three times in a row. Jesus. We looking good now, though. And our teammate's gonna be able to loot everything that he needs. It's like it's like he wasn't even missing. It's like he didn't even die and get rezzed again. Look, he got all the loot he needs. Now, what is the chances of pulling a Kraber from this? Oh my god, it actually is. Oh my god, it actually is. You guys have no idea. How many games I go without finding a Kraber? And every time I find it, there's only like one or two teams left, which is the situation we find ourselves in now. Okay, I don't want to let this moment go to waste. I want to get at least one kill with the Kraber. I love using the Kraber so much. I thought that there would be at least one more guy still here. Because there was four squads left, I think, when we came into this fight. So only one team died, but there was two teams here. So I think that there's... Another guy back there. Lurking. But we will find him later. There's a guy right there. Let's go this way. You ain't bamboozling me. Damn, that would have been sick. One sixteen? Did I like hit him in the ankle or something? Hmm. Zero for two on the bamboozles, my friend. Woo! Okay, there we go. The goal was to get one successful Kraber kill. It has been achieved. Survive that. Wait, he survived that. What? Okay. I'm gonna craver you, Mirage. I'm gonna craver you. Maybe not. There's so much debris in the way now. Can't work under these situations. Get 99. Over three on the bamboozles, mate. Poor guy. Enemy down. 
Oh, you still present behind me, huh? Okay, one squad left. I'm pretty sure that this is a solo. I'm pretty sure. I think this is I think this is the solo from the team from Fuel. Could be wrong though. Where are they lurking? Where are they lurking? Oh, good pings, good pings. Okay, never mind. Oh, he's by the rope. Hey. The Pathfinder doesn't have a head hitbox. How was that? How was that not a headshot? I'm pretty sold on this being a solo. He didn't use his grapple. I would have heard him grab away. He didn't grab. He's literally, he's gotta be right underneath us. I would have heard him grapple. Oh. Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. On the plus side, I did crave her two people. I, I, I knew it was a solo. It was a good call. You are the apex. It's one champions. thing that you gotta you gotta think about while you're playing too is you gotta like, you know, crunch the numbers mid fight. Nice. All right, fourteen and the three K on lifeline. I like it. I like it. I like it. 